Oh yeah, she'll do it. Uh, Bucket's of gris here, has some muscle shells in it, and that's what he uh, had for his hens, got for his hens. I want to come for now, I got some, uh, has some uh, uh, codfish split and salted in that uh, tote pan there all uh, winter. I'm going to take it out and wash it and dry it. Guys, this this fish you know was in the salt there all winter, and right now just washing off and going to dry it. That's what it looks like they're now washed. Oh, I just one washed off here now. I got the fish spread here for a little while, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put them inside for the night. We got some we get a bit of snow in it tomorrow, but I got them washed off in it, and I'm gonna take two or three over to the boat and and uh, get those soaking right away, and we'll be having some fish and potatoes uh, uh, tomorrow evening or next day. And, uh, I was just looking around and you know I honestly gotta say I don't know if I ever seen the water this high here. I I think this is the highest time I've ever seen the water. Yeah. Well, you know, we came up from Mary's Harbor this morning, it was blowing a gale. It certainly was blowing hard all day, but it dropped neutral. Now it's gonna be a lovely evening. Uh so we're gonna hit her across to the boat there. Uh, we got some work done, we got some more crab gear on her. Uh, we'll be at it again tomorrow. I'm glad I got over, I got my fish washed out, and whenever it's nice out, I'll put it out to dry, you know, and uh, that's my rounders over right here. Yeah, soon going back to the boat now, uh, have a couple of beer, and uh, I said it quite a few times, you know, since I come here, but man, it sure feels good to be back. Oh God, it's just like coming back home, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Every hill and whatever, all around, we climbed them many, many, many times, you know. <laughs> you know, we're on an island, where do you go? So, yeah, that was our life, but we loved it here. Anyway, I'm gonna hit her back there now, and uh, yeah, it's been a long day. I think, I think the first day is gonna go down a bit quick. <laughs> so, I think that's it for this video. Just a little video, just show you, you know, uh, you know what we do with this heavy salt to fish. I was actually going to do this the fall. Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier. You know, after 21 days in the salt, it ain't going to take no, no more than that struck in. So, but anyway, that's good. Uh, man, really looking forward to the fish fat potatoes and the fish and brews and all that good stuff. And I'm going to take when it's dry. I'm going to take some of this home and 
obviously going to give a couple away to some friends and stuff. So, so you know, because won't be no big lot longer. We'll be, uh, you know, be getting some fresh again. But uh, I am going to keep two or three nice big ones, and I'm going to keep them over winter again. I'll let them age again, and that actually is the absolute best fish. Got some fish there for the boat. Trav just went across, he balled out. There's a bearded seal down on that ice, out there towards the, the stage. Man, now this would really put a top around this thing. <laughs> oh. I gotta close this door. <laughs> so that snow night, I want that fish to get wet. And it goes out there. There's a seal out there. Get that seal. Might forget it. But, you know, might forget about it because we're gonna keep the speedboat over there for the night. Careful, that's slippery. Oh, spicy. Bearded seal, Lassie. That is the best of the best of the seal meat right there. Should have had the seal up ahead of her some weight. <laughs> Boat keeps uh, running up my noise. Run off with her a bit. Great evening, what a great day. Got up, got some work done, got the fish all washed out. In and off with a top of the line seal. So, I mean to say, it ain't my old hometown. Ain't no better than that. Go in, all the seal it, and I'm having a beer. Look at that, he was born sometime last year. Beautiful seal. Bit of ice there. Well, well, look at that. Nice cold beard to finish off the evening, and we're gonna have a fine feed of seal tomorrow. Cheers. Oh, that was good. Well, guys, we're there hauling our crab gear, and a beard of seal come up. 
Just on the other side of that big pan. I just fired and killed him. Gotta go pick him up there now. Gotta push this ice out of the way here. That's why I'm back. That's great. That's two seals now after getting in the harbor here. Uh, we wanted some uh, meat for the summer months. We didn't even have to actually go hunting. They came to us. So you're much better than that, I tell you. We're at the pass, and this is what we're going to have for supper. Just look at that. Backbone. Look at that. The liver. You're not going to get that in your local supermarket. Well, look at that. Now, that's why we hunt right there. Well, beautiful uh, evening here in Williams Harbor. We just finished... Uh, a nice meal of seal and now we got some baked off i'm gonna put down the freezer there and uh, you know we'll be uh we'll be eating that uh, throughout the summer while we're fishing and you know uh, when you're working i don't know if there's any better uh meat free than seal meat uh you know really healthy and get a lot of energy from it and stuff so so you know we stock our freezer uh every spring you know for the summer months well another large day here in the big land uh, we got our staff boys and stuff over my brother's shed there and uh, any other year, you know, we hook on a cart and tow it on down to the boat, but uh, where the community is abandoned, I guess, uh, you know, the roads are not bullet, so we got to lug them all down, so I think uh, next fall we'll be storing uh, the balloons and staff boys and stuff uh, somewhere else in Porto probably. Uh, yeah, I just come over and it's going to be a, a great day to dry, uh, dry my fish. Uh, I like to have it just part of it right here, but... Uh, you know, we're over there working on the wharf and half red gulls come line and uh, and take, you know, get up the fish. Uh, I had a bad experience with that once before. So well, I'm just gonna put in a tow pan and spread it over there on the wharf. We fish in rounders and uh, it should be a good day drying it. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do here now. Got all that gear ready there. Uh, two more strings to go aboard, but uh, we're gonna bait those going up just before we leave. We'll bait up two and put a board where it's easier to run that way. And we're just cleaning up the wharf here, and the boys just went over doing a little bit of work. And if I had to stay behind, uh, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't take very long for the gulls to get in on your fish, you know, uh, with no one around here. So, just keep cleaning up the wharf. And... Oh, look at these rounders here. Oh, it smells really good. Look at the fish now. You can see how dry it's getting. One another day or two, I'm going to get just the same, but. Uh, How wet that wharf is there. That was like this all along here, and you can tell that we can dry it off. So, so you know, it's a great day for uh, drying the fish. It's good on that rope, too. You know, you get a little bit of air underneath as well. It's pretty good. There, you rock it in good. I'm gonna put my fish in there now. Just look at that there. Oh, my fish.
that dry tad right there. I just wanted to show you this right here. This is bearded seal, and when you first clean a bearded seal, you know the meat is dark. But when you ice it in, this was iced in and then took it and cut up after. Just look at the nice red color that meat goes. Look at that. That is beautiful looking meat right there. Yeah, uh, those lassies, you know, they're uh, they're probably the best of all the seal meat. Uh, yeah, they all taste a bit different, a bit different, a little bit different texture, but uh, there's not a whole lot of difference in them, I guess. But uh, but uh, texture is a lot to do with it too, I guess. So these bearded seals, or those uh, lassies, like if anywhere from a year, two, three years old, like that, they're 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 about the best you're gonna get. And I would, for me personally, then I probably would say ring seal after that, and then harp. Uh, well, then certainly them rangers, young, uh, younger harbor seals are really good as well. It's all good for you. <laughs> yeah. Just look at that. What are you doing? I'm uh, cleaning up your Sunday dinner here, huh? Look at that. Look at the color in that meat. That's the bearded seal. Oh, that's the hurt. Gall almost had that one yesterday. <laughs> Brown, you don't like that, do you? Uh, we'll talk about it. Yeah, it's the best king in the winter natural. Look at it. There it is, look at the liver. Look at that. 